Hey everyone, so today we are going to be doing a pro standard tutorial on this card. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and get started.
I did want to um, quickly mention it's really important that you're making the elements in the same order that I'm making them. I keep going back and forth to make sure that I'm making the elements in the right order so that it lines up with the um, code that's right here. And if for any reason the card looks a little off, you probably have made something in the incorrect order, which is fine, not a problem. You can fix it. You just have to check the element ID here and make sure it matches the element id here since you can only manually edit the id with pro plus with pro standard you have to go in the actual code itself and change it which honestly isn't too much of a hassle but i know the order of this that i'm doing the elements in this tutorial might be a little confusing but if you follow along you shouldn't have to change anything in the embed and again um if you do, not a big deal. That's just something I like to note with all my standard tutorials. We can continue now. Okay, it seems to not be lining up, but I'm just going to make it and then I'll change the code and then I'll update the pasty bin so that um, by the time you're watching this tutorial, you have the right code. Um, I just did it in a really weird order when I was making the reference card, so that's why um, it looks a little wonky. And another, I think, good tip always when making um, an original plus card into a standard card is don't like copy elements, which is something I do a lot because it saves time, but this messes up the element ID. Um, a tip that does basically the same thing is to like have the element selected and then add that same element and it'll copy the format from the previous element into the element you're adding if that makes sense so yeah now i'm just kind of copying um the previous sections into all the different sections of the card and again i'll have that code updated so you shouldn't have too much problems with having to change the element ids by the time this tutorial is out Right, and here is what the final result result should um, relatively look like. Please let me know if you have any questions, need any help. I think it turned out super cute. And thank you guys so much for watching. As usual, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.